testing is evolving and so the technology is. AI is no longer the future, it's the present. Everybody is using AI and you must have seen that everyone, every area AI is getting used. In this video, we'll talk about how you can use Gen AI in testing, how to write test cases without writing a single line of code. The biggest problem or challenge with automation is you need to go through some programming language, right? Now, if you talk about traditional automation tools and libraries like Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, the different tools and libraries that we have, we need to have programming knowledge, right? But now with Gen AI or it's a generative AI is transforming the way we write the test cases, the way we automate the applications, right? Now with the help of AI, you can automate repetitive test cases without writing a single line of code, without writing a script. You can generate and automate test using plain English. How we are talking in English, you can write the test automate in the same way. No need to write script. AI will generate automatically for you. Basically, you can write the test cases in natural plain language. Just describe the scenario. AI will convert into executable test cases and you can execute in different browsers and different platforms. Obviously, you can refine, you can review them, you can execute them, but without much effort. One of the worst nightmare or the biggest challenge of using traditional programming automation tool is the test maintenance. So basically, with the help of these AI tools, you can decrease the test maintenance time. But the question comes how? The answer is test trigger. Test trigger is generative AI based test automation tool which can automate your test in plain English to build and execute your automation scenarios. It is a cross browser. Basically, you can run on different browsers. It is also cross platform. You can use different platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux. So basically, the way test trigger operate is by translating high level instructions. For example, I want to buy a Kindle or I want to buy iPhone. I just need to describe the scenario. It can automatically convert into steps. For example, open this, enter iPhone, click on this, enter this. So basically, your high level scenarios will be converted into steps. It can automate this test for you on cross browser and cross platform for you just by writing a simple scenario or number of steps. Either you can write the steps or test trigger can write the steps for you. So test trigger can help you to generate tests out of the box. I will show you in the live demo how you can generate automatic test cases using test trigger or you can write test cases in plain English or let's say if you already have test cases in plain English format, you can copy paste and you can start executing with the help of test trigger. Now what you can automate, you can automate web applications, you can also automate APIs. You can also automate mobile applications, again, Android or iOS. You can send emails, you can receive emails, you can send SMS, phone calls, two-factor authentication. So for example, you want to log in to some application using SMS or OTP, it can do for you. Now, what about integration? Can we integrate with different CD tool? Answer is yes. You can integrate test trigger with Jenkins, you can integrate with GitHub Actions, GitLab, TeamCity, Bamboo, whatever CICD tool you have, you can simply integrate test trigger with existing CI CD tools, right? And what about security? Don't worry about the security. It has GDPR, CCPA, and many more. So enough of theory. Now let me show you one live demo, how you can get started with test trigger, how you can create account and how you can write your first test case using test trigger. Okay. So to start, you can navigate to testtrigger.com. Basically now in order to start, you have to create your own account right now. I already have an account, so I will quickly log in and show you. But before we do that, let's quickly see what exactly we discussed. Generate AI based test automation tool. Either you can describe the scenario or you can write the steps in plain English. And when you scroll down, you will see multiple case studies. So whenever you get some time, please go through the case studies. Very interesting case studies where you will get to know how other industries are using test trigger. So basically, how does it work? You can generate test cases out of the box. AI can generate the test cases for you. Or let's say if you already have written test cases, you can simply import from your existing test suite or you can write the steps one by one after that you can you know make any changes and in case if you want to write the, from the scratch you can use plain english you can automate web mobile desktop api email sms plus phone calls two-factor authentication and many more and there's a quick comparison how it is different from the traditional tools that we already have in the market okay Coming back to integration part, you can integrate with any CI/CD tool that we discussed, right? In future, I will show you how you can execute test cases using Jenkins. But here it supports each and every or I will say every type of CI/CD tool which exists in the market. And don't worry about the security. 
they have all the security compliance and standards so no need to worry about the security part and please i would highly recommend whenever you have get some time please go through some faq questions like how it is different from selenium what type of end to end test we can write right what do we test well what don't you test well and so many things when we get time please go through the faq sections now in order to start you can click on sign up and you can create your account you will also get 14 days trial for private complete just enter the credentials and you will be getting 14 days trial i already have account so i will click on login so let me enter username and let me enter my password now the moment you sign up you will be getting this option called create new test suite i already have some existing test suite so it's almost 11 i'm going to create a new test suite now we will have a detailed discussion how you can you know create end to end scenarios this is the first video i will give you a quick tour about the ui the different options we have the different option of integration plus i will also show you one small test case moving forward we will be having end to end scenarios with different combinations now in order to start please provide the test suite team let me give lms so for this example i will be using this application which is freelance learn automation courses you can log in you can buy courses you can log out create category create courses and so on now once you enter the suite name you can select which kind of testing you want to perform uh, desktop web testing mobile web testing native plus hybrid app and the desktop automation as well in this example we'll go with desktop web testing and you also have to provide which url so we'll go with this url now coming back to username password let's say if your application is going through certain credentials you need to log in with some account you need to log in with some access then you have to continue in that case please provide username and password now coming back to os part you can select you whether you want to go with ubuntu windows and os x i will go with ubuntu and for free users only ubuntu is options available but for paid user windows and os x is also enabled i will go with ubuntu again you can select which browser you want to use chrome firefox but let's say if you're using mac os you will also get option for safari i will go with ubuntu as of now and i will go with chrome now this is very interesting feature number of test cases to generate using ai so now let's say if you want ai to generate the test cases you can also give the count for example 0 1 2 3 for free users it's up to 3 but for paid users it will increase now this is a quick note if you want ai to generate test cases for you you have to give a proper detailed description then only you will be getting the detailed test cases now for the timing let's say i want to give some description like this platform allow users to buy courses right this is the description i have given now if i will click on create new test suite it will create let's say i want to select maybe five scenarios and you also have advanced settings for example if you want to customize you want to change the proxy settings speed optimization error detection integration we can do all for today we will click on create test suite it says this already exists i will say lms new and let's click on create test suite as you can see it has generated five test cases like user registration account creation with email verification user login access to dashboard after successful registration you can search course select course add to cart successful payment access playback and so on now you can edit them you can regenerate you can remove as of now i will click on do not add any test i will show you how to add from the scratch so i clicked on do not add any test and this is the home page you will be getting so once you create the test suite you will be landing to this page it says right now no test cases created in in this particular test suite so let me click on add new test case and now you can give the description for example i want to go with login i will say login to application using valid credentials now i can write the custom steps here basically you need to write a plain english format and the moment i type e and you can see we also get multiple suggestions that how you can use the keywords for example i want to enter text i want to enter text into element enter text into element about this element so you will be getting lot of suggestions in the upcoming videos we will be discussing and we will be using them you can also click on generate sample test using ai so this is how it will generate but as of now i will be writing steps one by one so that you will get some idea how exactly we have to write in plain english without writing a single line of code plus if you are new to platform you can check out the documentation as well 
everything is already written that how to use click and these are the options double click triple click right click middle click long click how many times you want to click if you come down you can generate unique email unique names regular expressions you can enter you can also do the keyboard events as well and bunch of other things now for this example let me log into this application so generally i will enter here username enter the password click on sign in and the moment i sign in i want to quickly check whether this welcome admin manager is coming or not so i have written the steps just to save some time and i have written enter this email into enter email field so if i log out so this is enter email field right similarly i have written enter password into enter password field then enter sorry click sign in and the moment i sign in i want to quickly check so you can use check the page contains welcome admin you can verify a particular text as well in this page we are looking for a welcome keyword now click on add run you can see new scenario moved on top it started executing and if you click on this arrow you will see the screenshots for every step it will show you the screenshot how exactly it is automating this particular scenario so if i click on this one so this is the first page then we entered username and password it entered username password it clicked on the button you can see the highlighter and the third step it verified this welcome text and once it is done it took hardly seven seconds it got passed and now you can see how easy it is to write the test cases using test trigger you just need to understand what text you need to write what test data you need to use and in case if you want to link some test data that option we also have in the upcoming videos we'll discuss that as well so this is your test suite details like we created one test suite right this is the test case that we created you can also add labels for example i can add label here like this is a smoke test so we assign label to this particular test now if you click on this again i can add it i can rerun i can debug i can copy i can view the steps so this is how you can get started now on the left hand side you see we also have multiple options like behavior driven test creation the last run details if you have any errors it will show you here if i click on the report part you can see one test case 100 percent passed coming back to tree view you can also see on the home screen we entered this username and password clicked on sign in and this is the complete view we got captured data right and this is the all run right now we just have only one run but if you have multiple tests run it will show you all and this is a very interesting feature called live mode so you can basically open this live mode and you can write the steps this i will show in the upcoming videos we also have shared uh, suite basically if you have multiple test suite you want to copy or inherit some test cases some test data from different test suites we can copy and this is a very interesting part called rules you can create a rules you don't have to write the steps again and again you can create the rule and you can use rule in your test cases we can also provide the test data here using test data section and this is very important part called ci cd integration like whenever you have to integrate with any ci cd tool you can use this option and in case if you want to change the setting of your project so this is the settings for ai that how many test cases you want to generate the delayed after login error detection testing settings if you want to provide authentication proxies so whatever advanced settings i showed you in the beginning all you can customize here like in this particular scenario i just added one browser right ubuntu chrome but let's say i want to go with windows firefox so by default my each and every test will be running on these two combination let's say i want to go with maybe mac os and i want to go with safari if i click on add browser now each and every test will be running on these three combinations and this is an interesting part you can integrate this with lambda test you can integrate with browser stack source lab for example if you want to run on multiple device combination platform combinations you can enable this and you can integrate with these seamlessly yeah so very easy to use and handy tool we will be discussing in the upcoming videos as well how you can use apis how you can use mobile applications how you can use desktop as applications as well so i would highly recommend you to give it a try and uh, now how you can start i will be giving you one link in the description you can go ahead and create an account if you go to sign up you will be also get 14 days trial now coming back to the pricing part this is free forever so basically if you want to go with the free plan 
you will have some restrictions, limitations, and basically whatever test and test suites you will create, it will be public open source. Anyone can see the results. When it comes to private, these are the pricing. Now, in case if you want to go with customized plan and the private plans, uh, if you go through my link, you will be getting 15% additional discount. In case if you have any custom requirement, you can schedule a demo with them. And uh, in case if you have any other queries, you can let me know in the comment section or you can have a call directly. That's all about this video. I hope you got some idea how you can use AI based tools for your automation testing. So if you have any other question, let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.